Hiya, um, this is the first of two uh, little tutorials on how to transfer your project from Ableton uh, through to the Akai Force. Um, I'm going to just quickly show you how my workflow is basically when I'm transferring things over from Ableton. Um, so the first things first, what you need to be able to do is to chop up your existing arrangement. So I've got my arrangement here and this is the whole thing. Um, there's quite a lot going on there. Uh, I'm just going to focus on the very first loop just to show you how it works and what you need to do. So the first thing I do is zoom in all the way in so I can see my individual parts. And then what I try and do is look for um, the, the loop sections in the audio. So here, for example, we've got a, a larger section, um, which is four of the segments in the in the window and down here we've got one that's two and then there are some bigger ones as we move along um, and some smaller ones as well there's some really teeny ones there that are half a section long um, so we're going to focus on this first one here uh, which is the the, the intro loop um, for this particular project uh, and it's just uh, two sections long um, and it's uh, four chords basically that are playing in sequence. So what I normally do is I use the command E function to split the um, the audio track so that I can then just highlight the, the loop effectively. Uh, and what I do then is I select the loop and I press the tab key um, to switch back into the uh, clip view. Uh, and I've got my track here that's called chords which is where I'm going to drop it to. So what you need to do is hold down on the track and then press tab and you can switch back into clip view and the track, as you can see, sticks to the mouse and you can drop it into place. So basically that now is my chord sequence in clip view. So obviously when we're working in Ableton anyway, we tend to use clip view to get the arrangement sorted out. And down at the bottom here, you've got a bunch of my stuff here. There's a bunch of loops that I used when I was actually assembling the uh, tracking arrangement view. But what I've done, I've just shunted those down to the bottom because what I'm trying to do here is get an arrangement that shows the loops that I want to export. So we've got the original loop there, the chord loop, uh, and then I've managed to export all the other things. So if I just pop down here, say to a <laughs> So you can hear this stuff going on there. And basically that's just to arrange the track in the clip view. Um, so once we've got everything into the clip view, what we need to do then is export the clips out as audio files, as individual clips. And this is something that I didn't actually realize you could do. I've always exported audio from this screen, which makes sense because that's the arrange window and we export our completed project from there. But actually you can export it from the clip view as well. So the way the clip view export works, it basically exports the tracks that are playing at the time. So they have to have a green arrow on them. So for example, if I go down here and I press that, stop up here it's important we hit stop up here so that those arrows are still green all the way along here and what we can do then is if we go to file and export audio video we can export the individual tracks out of here just by selecting here and choosing our individual tracks now the reason you want to choose them is because what will happen is it will default the length of the export to the size of the biggest clip that you've got. So this is no good for the force because actually what happens is you'll end up with a, a clip that's um, been exported as a 16 bar clip and actually the clip is only one bar long. So you'll end up with 16 times the size. And when we've only got limited memory like we've got on the force, that's no good. So what we want to do is choose the individual tracks. So I'm going to choose the chords one here that I've just looked at. And what will happen is here you can see that it's gone to 40 bars because my longest loop, which is this drone, is 40 bars long. And I know that this loop that I'm looking at down here is actually eight bars long. So all I need to do is change the size of that to eight bars and then I can hit export. And if I just create a new folder on my desktop um, to put this into, so I just call it export. Okay, and then I will put this in as chords. 
Uh, and it's useful to put the BPM in. So this is 104 BPM. Uh, and then that will save out an audio file at 104 BPM. So once you've exported all of your audio files, it's just a case then of popping the force into computer mode. So you hit the menu button and then you hit the little computer. And then literally it's just a case of dragging that folder into the, um, the force and then you'll be able to play it back through the force. So one final thing, as you are looking at your audio files and you're exporting them using the method that we've just gone through, then what you also need to bear in mind is um, that some of those audio files only need to be exported once, even though they're used in the arrangement several times. So for example, my chord pattern that I imported is exactly the same all the way through. So I only need to export that once. Um, so what I tend to do is colour code my audio files just to show the different ones. So you can see here, the first one of these ones is a light blue and all the rest are different. So therefore they're a different colour. And then down at the bottom here, we've got a couple of variation ones down here. There's one that's grey here, one that's green here, and then these symbol ones are blue. And that's because they're different loops. And if I just click on this one here, you'll be able to see that one's got one there. And then this one's got a different one there. And that one's there. And that one's slightly longer. And then in the kits, you've got this one and that one's slightly different there. So basically, you'll need to export individual ones of those. But these ones here, they're exactly the same, will only need to be exported once. Um, and again, that's going to save memory on the force, which is really important. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, there will be a second part to it about how to get things into the force, because it's not actually as easy as um, you would think. Um, and I'll probably upload that in a few days time. Hopefully this has helped you out. Uh, if so, just give it a like. Uh, if you're interested in the music that I'm making, my artist name is Duty. Uh, you can find me on uh, Spotify and on iTunes and all the other usual places. Uh, also on Facebook, if you want to add me up, that's cool. Thanks very much.